Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create advanced shipment notification through the interface UI in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. We have an Excel template in our Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. In the Excel template, we will insert our details regarding the advanced shipment notification, and then we will upload it into the application. So first we have to download the Excel template from the application. So let's move to the application. So this is our application. Let's search for the input interface. On the input interface page, we have an option, download the template. Let's click on that. And you can see one file has been downloaded. Let's click on that. And we have to extract it. Click on that, extract to, okay. Right. So we have to move to the download. Right. So this is our file. So we have to go to the inbound shipment folder, right? So under the inbound shipment folder, we have the Excel file, right? So we have to click on this I double S inbound shipment. Let's open it. Right. So first step is we have to prepare this input interface file. We have some raw data, you can see. Right. So we have to insert some information regarding the shipment, advanced shipment notification. So this is our headings, right? So you can add more shipment in this heading, like uh, you have to select this row and uh, right click and insert. So in that way you can insert more shipment number in that sheet, right? But uh, we go with the one and this is uh, shipment number. You can insert the data as per your requirement. Like I'm going to insert ST underscore shipment underscore 0202 right so this is our shipment number right and we have the facility code and the company code so you can insert these data with the help of the application so let's move to the application and we'll select our facility code and the company code right so this is our facility code. Let's copy it and let's copy the company and turn to the interface file, right? So this is our facility code and this is our company code, right? And we have the action code is create. We are going to create new one so that our action code is create. And we can define our shipment type, load number, and more, any more information and uh, we have the shipped date and this is our text format so we have to define like today's date this is our year and uh, this is our date and this is our month right in the same way you can define other dates like cancel date and order date right and this is our sequence number sequence number one and the uh, action code is create and uh, we have the alternate code item alternate code so we have to select from the application so go to the item and select the item alternate code let's refresh it
so we have the item code and we have the alternate item code both are the same so let's copy one item code from this item details copy it and let's paste it into the item alternate code right and we have to define some more information like shipped quantity so we are going to shift 100 quantity and let's check more information we don't have any other mandatory field so we have done with the information right so this is the base information and, uh, and this is our details right so let's save this file into the downloads and let's save with the new save it let's go to the instance let's search for inbound shipment so this is our inbound shipment let's refresh it first we check our shipment number st shipment 0202 so there is no any shipment number let's go to the interface input interface page and uh, we have the drop down menu so we have to select our appropriate interface so let's select the inbound shipment and we have to upload the file click on choose file and let's select this is our file open it and upload it it will take few seconds to complete this process right so this is our file you can see this is new and the status is unprocessed so select this record and click on this run interface the interface processing started click ok now let's go to the inbound shipment and then click on this refresh right and you can see this is our shipment number you can match with the excel file this is right and you can select this one and you can check our details by click on that right so this is our details you can see the item details this is our ship quantity right so this is our advanced shipment notification which was uploaded using the excel template so this is how you can create an advanced shipment notification through interface UI in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.